Hello, this is Ben from NerdBalloon.com, and you're watching In Retro, Episode 1, Carrier Command, 1988. Um, so I wanted to feature Carrier Command today. Uh, when it came out in 1988, uh, the graphics were amazing for its time. Um, as you can see... Oh, fucking hell. As you can see, there's uh, no texture mapping at this point, but um, there's raster patterns and different colors and stuff here that do a pretty good job. Um, so let's take a look at Carrier Command. Basically, Carrier Command is a real-time strategy game against a single opponent, uh, that being uh, the Red Carrier. So there's no, nothing really going on here except you and the enemy carrier, which makes it uh, pretty exciting. You're the Blue Carrier against the Red Carrier. It's slightly more advanced, it's faster, uh, has uh, other upgrades. Um, <clears throat> right here, I, uh, I've started an action game that starts you kind of halfway in the middle of uh, an existing game. Uh, otherwise you would start at either end. Uh, that tends to be a much longer game. The games can last up to two days. So this is not for the faint-hearted, this game. It's a, a really a hardcore real-time strategy game. The scale of it is quite huge as well, which is a bit of a drawback since it takes about five to ten minutes to uh, travel between islands in real time. So, uh, But luckily today I'm playing it on the Steam engines, which allows me to fast forward, so it makes things a lot uh, quicker. Um, some of the cooler features of the uh, <clears throat> of Carrier Command are the vehicles that you can deploy. And so, since this is an aircraft carrier, it uh, naturally would have aircraft, which are called the Mantas. Uh, as you can see, there's picture in picture here, which is another feature that's kind of cool. Uh, not, not really done before in video games. So I'm going to load up my Manta with some missiles here, and this is an enemy island in the, uh, in the distance. And what I'm going to try to do is knock out its command center. So I'll turn this into it from an enemy island into a neutral island. And then from there, I'll use my walrus to turn it into a friendly island. Okay, so let's go to the flight deck. Pop up our Manta. Send it off. Turn off autopilot. Click to our missile. And go to top speed because we want to be going really fast here because there's going to be enemy planes that engage us once we get too close to the island. Uh, there's one there. So I'm going to go just straight for the command center and take it out. See, I was hit by a uh, surface air missile there, so that just goes to show how uh, you can't really dink around when you're trying to take over these islands. you got to go right at the uh, throat. This game's not easy, so that was uh, just a reminder to me how tough this game can be. Okay, so we're setting up mana 2 since we lost mana 1. Let me try that again. I'm gonna get my speed right up, turn my radar on, do a little flyby past the uh, carrier. Switch the missiles. And this time we're gonna be successful here. Okay, there, we took out the command center, and uh, What's interesting after that happens is the infrastructure, the various pieces of infrastru infrastructure on the island start to uh, decay uh, since uh, I guess the nervous system of the island has been knocked out. Even these airplanes, the enemy airplanes are kind of without any, any instruction and it will eventually run out of fuel and crash to the ground since we took out the control center. So I'm going to go back to the aircraft carrier and uh, land this Manta on automatic. So once you're within a certain range, you can you can land your uh, Manta on automatic. Walruses are the other vehicles in this game. Uh, they're amphibious. Amphibious. Uh, <clears throat> their main ta their main uh, job is to send uh, payloads to the island. So what you do is you select one of these uh, automatic command center builder th thingamajigs. And depending on which one you choose, you can uh, turn your neutral island into one that's for resource, defense, or for factory. Which, and uh, depending on which one you choose, uh, the island will produce fuel or uh, inventory for uh, the ship as you uh, as you use it. So I'm just going to land uh, Manta 2 here because it's being a bit noisy, and I'm going to launch. Walrus 1, and take control of it. I'm 
Now this part of the game can be a little tedious. Uh, you have to do this on each island. You have to drop a, your own command center, otherwise it'll stay neutral. And if it stays neutral, it's not a good thing because uh, that means the enemy carrier will have an easier time to convert it to an enemy island. So we want to convert it to a friendly island as soon as possible here. So once I find a suitable spot to drop the payload, or uh, command center, I just drop it here. And we'll take a look at it here. And it begins to build right away, as you can see. And once that's finished uh, building, we'll have a friendly island, and uh, and then we'll be off to the next island. Okay, so uh, as we're headed back to the carrier, I just want to show some of the uh, weapons that the carrier itself has, and this is uh, its primary weapon, which is the laser. And I'll just use the Walrus one as a target practice here. The laser's pretty good for taking out uh, enemy aircraft. Well, maybe not so good, because you kind of have to lead things. But, uh, all in all, it's fairly effective. Also, uh, there are de decoy flares. Uh, if we came under attack by the enemy carrier, or if surface-to-surface uh, -surface missiles were launched at the aircraft, we could... Uh, shoot these up and the missiles would hopefully hit that instead of the aircraft carrier. We also have rear launching surface surface missiles which are pretty cool. They launch a camera or it launches a camera first and then you from a top down view you fire uh, your surface to surface missile. There's also decoy drones that work in the same way the flare does so we deploy these around the ship and uh, they will take uh, the brunt of enemy fire saving the ship hopefully so those will attract uh, heat seeking missiles as well and hopefully they get destroyed instead of your carrier if you lose the carrier the game's over so that's one thing to keep in mind okay so now that we have converted uh, Thermopylae which is the name of the island I'm at here into a friendly island we can uh, go to the next island and uh, one thing to keep in mind we could simply just go to this island here for, since it's uh, neutral but uh, click this resource tab and that will show you the supply chain lines here that we have to keep in mind because uh, if we want to refuel it has to be on one of these islands that are linked to our home island here by a supply chain so we couldn't capture this and refuel here because there is no supply line link so we'll have to go to either this one up here or this one right here which are both uh, enemy islands because they are connected so I'm just going to set the carrier autopilot and uh, once I hit this A button, which is autopilot, uh, the carrier starts to drift to this location. I'm just going to get it slightly past this island first, and then I'm going to head to this uh, island here, which is Strav Stravros. Another feature, uh, cool feature, is the automatic uh, system repair. Um, you don't have to worry about all this stuff. If it gets damaged, it'll repair itself. However, if it drops below 50%, it will cease to function. Um, for instance, this is the lift for my mantas. If this becomes too damaged, I won't be able to put any uh, mantas in the air, which would be, a, would be a huge problem. And uh, here are the all the items and stuff that the carrier has. You have to keep these all stocked. Uh, you don't want to run out of mantas or long-range pods or anything like that, or missiles especially. So uh, that's Carrier Command in, uh, in brief. And uh, like I said, it's, this isn't a real-time strategy game for the faint-hearted. This uh, definitely takes some time. I, I have never finished this game legitimately from start to finish. I tend to try to corner the enemy carrier uh, at some stage and then uh, confront it head on and then at that point I'm able to destroy it and you win the game. Um, but if you were to try to beat this game 
from start to finish, I would imagine it, it, it would take you at least a couple days. So, uh, there's, <laughs> there's no speed runs. There's no carrier command speed runs online that I've seen. That's for sure. And if there were, uh, It'd be in the hours, not the minutes or seconds, that's for sure. Okay, so I'm Ben. This is uh, In Retro, episode one. You can see all my reviews on nerdbloom.com. And this is Carrier Command. Uh, I came out in 1988, so check it out.